My name is Griselle Pantoja, and I immigrated to the United States with my mom at the age of six in search of a better life. I graduated from FIU in 2017 with a bachelor's in psychology and a minor in education, and I was diagnosed with narcolepsy in 2016. Like anybody else, I have aspirations and I have goals. And my life before narcolepsy, I have interest in hobbies. I enjoy journaling, photography, playing the violin. I love music. It helps me relax, and I think that music is an awesome part in my life. I began to have these symptoms in which I started to have difficulty concentrated. I felt that I was having fatigue. I would see my peers, you know, that had energy to do a lot of things, and I didn't feel that I had enough energy. I started to feel that I couldn't concentrate in classes. I would fall asleep in, in a lot of my classes as well. Many times, too, I would be embarrassed by my teachers because I would fall asleep in my class. Another time, I remember taking the FCAT, and halfway through the exam, I was gone. And I just felt that the symptoms continued to worsen. In my household, there's not just thing as staying asleep on Saturdays, like sleeping in that doesn't exist. One day, I remember my mom coming into the room to wake my sister and I, to help her with the chores, and I remember that I started to feel this inexplicable sensation in my body. I couldn't react, I couldn't tell her, I'm going, just give me one second. When I started fighting that sensation and I was finally able to wake up from my bed, that I go to get ready to go help my mom, my mom had never gone into the room at all to wake my sister and I. That was really weird and I couldn't explain why I had just experienced what I had experienced. And Little did I know that it was the beginning of many other symptoms of narcolepsy. I felt overwhelmed with all the symptoms that I was feeling that were getting much worse. I felt frightened because I've never experienced it and I didn't want my friends to think I was weird. And also I didn't want to frighten my parents or worry them because as, you know, coming from an immigrant family, and I just didn't want to put more on their shoulders. I didn't want them to worry 